you dying in your sleep. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I saw a few pages. He's got it on his website. Looks very interesting. I've made an order for your copy. Um, yeah. It's got David's, I guess, his whole life's work on this issue, uh, talking about the effect of, of, of sleep apnea and such on health. And I just think that everybody should get a copy and, and, and understand if the issue is impacting them in some way. Yeah, look, I mean, you're right. I mean, what I've done in that book is I, I, I try to make it as simple to understand as possible. So explain all the causes um, the, of, of, of snoring and airway obstruction. I've explained um, how it can all be sort of tested and monitored for from sleep studies to scans to all sorts of things. And then I've talked about body systems. So I've talked about how it affects each and every body system. So, um, you know, I've talked about, um, you know, changes to the vision, changes to the brain, changes to the heart. Um, talk about skin. So, you know, wrinkles, guess what? You get more wrinkles if you don't get good sleep. You know, wrinkles is big business out there. Sure. So, you know, there you go. Yep. Um, so, you know, from that point of view, um, you know, sleep sleep does affect it and it doesn't take long. Um, so, so if, you know, from that point of view, it goes into, into to great detail. It talks about mental health and, and uh, gut health. So, you know, people talking about gut bacteria these days. Um, people that snore actually have um, a tendency towards getting bad gut bacteria um, because of the changes in the oxygen levels that come with it. So, so the, the, the reaches and implications of, of, of snoring is, is actually quite uh, wide ranging and, and hence, hence the title of the book, Snore to Death, um, because that's literally what people are doing.